Hi, I'm Steve, the owner of Vero Linens. Now at Vero, we produce three different firmnesses of pillow. We utilize down, and down feather combination, and an all feather pillow. In this video, we're going to specifically discuss the attributes associated with our feather pillow. Okay, pillows come in a variety of different fillings, buckwheat, latex, but I think, and, and the list goes on, but I think it's uh, safe to say that the most popular pillow that is utilized in North America is a down or a down feather combination. And there's a good reason. One, they're very durable. They're reasonably priced. They're washable as well. And they never bunch up. Some of the synthetic, uh, the Primaloft pillows, will bunch up and knot up over time, becoming really hard and firm. That will never happen with a, uh, a feather and down pillow. In addition to that, all of the uh, pillows that we offer provide excellent neck and head support, which is very, very important to a good night's sleep. Now, we know that some people prefer a soft pillow, some people prefer a firm pillow, and some people prefer that pillow in the middle. Our feather pillow is our firmest pillow. Now, there are a couple of things that uh, determine the firmness of a pillow. One, it's the amount or the ounces of fill inside of it, as well as its composition. Now, this is down. Down yields the softest pillow. As you can see, this is a number of clusters of down, and it's probably going to float around here a little bit. But it's very, very unstructured, very, very malleable, and it results in that soft pillow. Now, this is feather. Much more structured, and this is typical of a feather would be in our pillow. Uh, it's more structured. It's got more weight. Uh, and as a result of that, and density as well, and as a result of that, it uh, it results in a firmer pillow. Now, there's no right or wrong in this uh, uh, analysis of, you know, which pillow is best for you. And there's another little puff. It's more a, a factor of personal preference. Now, we sell three different sizes in our feather pillow. We sell our standard, which is 20 by 26, uh, 26 long, 20 uh, tall. Again, this is a firmer pillow. Now, we also sell the King. Now, the King is 36 inches long, 20 inches tall. I will tell you that our standard pillow size is our more popular size. A lot of people uh, find that the smaller, shorter pillow, the standard pillow, is a little easier to manipulate and, you know, uh, when they toss and turn at night and, and move the pillow around. Now, this is our Euro insert. It's 26 inches by 26 inches. One thing that we recommend is certainly using uh, feather uh, for the Euro inserts. Now, people typically don't sleep on these, but what happens with the, the polyester fills is, again, as I had indicated earlier, they bunch up a little bit, and so you don't get the poly up in the corners of the sham. The feather never bunches up, so you can easily fill out the corners of the sham. Might save a little bit of money with the, uh, the poly fill, but the, the feather is definitely a better insert. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, the feather comes with a quill. Now, the feather is the firmest pillow, but when it's brand new, sometimes that uh, a quill can poke through the ticking of the shell of the pillow itself. So, uh, what I recommend you do is to put two pillow protectors on that uh, sleeping pillow. You don't need a pillow protector on the Euro insert, but on the sleeping pillows, consider putting two on there, and that will mitigate that uh, quill from poking through. As the pillow breaks in over time, that will uh, that you know, quill will no longer poke through the the shell. Now, if you're interested in the other pillows that we do produce, all you got to do is click right here. This is a video on a compartment pillow, um, which is kind of the medium pillow of, as far as firmness is concerned, and this is a video on the down pillow. Again, that's our softest pillow. Hey, should you have any questions on our pillows or any of our bedding uh, related products, certainly uh, give us a call or send us an email. We're happy to assist. Hey, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this, and thanks for your interest in Vero